talk about something which relates to interview. Interviews, isn't it? Sometimes it becomes scary or sometimes you are bold enough to face it. Yes, if you know everything, you feel bold enough. But let me quickly brush up the do's and don'ts of interview. So let's start with the first stage. Means let's see before the interview. Don't you think there should be some preparation? Yes. So in that case, first step. Number one, prepare your resume correctly and learn it thoroughly. Don't even leave the career objective. That also caters a lot. Along with their strengths. Don't miss any part of it. Be thorough with your projects and your roles and responsibilities. That will help you a lot. After that, it is also important know about the company. So number two is know about the company thoroughly. You should know where you are applying, what you are going to say there. Do you know that company properly or not? If they ask you, what do you know about us? You should be answerable. So don't miss that point. Third point. So number three, your dress code. Dress code should be always formal. Don't miss out your footwear too. It shouldn't be informal like your skates or sports shoe. It should be a leather one for boys, especially with a lace in it. And girls can have something which keeps us smart. But don't use something which gives too much of noise. Make your walk steady and smart. Be straight enough and be bold to face anything. Now your outfit. Outfit should be formal. Girls in Indian wear can have kurti or a sari, well pinned, which does not disturb anything. Boys should have a shirt with mild color. It shouldn't be very strong. Coat and trousers are also applicable if required. It's your choice and according to the company. It is said boys should avoid pink or reddish color. Just for the interview you can do that. And girls avoid accessories, flowers, too much of makeup. Too strong deo or cologne is also not applicable for both men and women. So be careful, it should be mild and soothing to everyone. You are also advisable to use a mouth freshener. Sometimes when you are in an interview and it's a closed environment, it may sometimes give some problem if you don't have a fresh breath. So don't miss out this point too. Coming to the other point, be well dressed. You have prepared everything. Don't miss to carry your documents. Required documents are also very necessary for the interview. Now you are set for the interview. Now on the day of interview. Of course, the day has arrived for which you have prepared your clothes, your resume, your homework, your research work, everything is done. Now the day arrives when you have to enter and showcase your ability. You are of course not anywhere unable to do anything. You have the capacity. So have that confidence, build up this confidence and give your best. First, it is said, when you enter, it is your option. You may have a knock because it's closed, then you can knock. Or if it's open, just wear a smile on your face and enter and greet them. Don't sit unless the interviewer asks you to take your seat. Be seated comfortably. Don't hesitate to sit properly. Keep your shoulders straight. Make your back placed well and put your hands in a comfortable position. Don't keep it crossed like this. It seems that you are angry or you are closed enough. Don't even have it in a casual way. That will show that you are relaxed. You are not serious about it. So have a steady attitude with alert position. When you hand
handle the questions, handle it in confident manner. Before that, prepare your self-introduction in such a way that you are applicable for all posts. You are admitted happily because you are confident about yourself. That is one question which is open to all. You may be asked and if not asked, they will ask it in other way. So that is a question you should prepare thoroughly and answer confidently. One question arises about your shake hand. So it is advisable don't give your hand unless the interviewer gives it first. If you have ever given it, when you are asked for, don't give it like a dead fish. Have a firm handshake with this part to be firmly adjustable with the person who you are shaking hand. So if you are shaking hand, shake it confidently. When you sit, maintain your body posture. Maintain eye contact. Don't look down, don't look up or here and there. This shows either you are not confident or you are saying something lie or you have forgotten something. So maintain eye contact whenever it's necessary and you are expected to do that. There might be questions after question rolling down to you, coming up to you. So you have to answer them confidently and keep that energy till the end. But one question arises, do you ask about leaves or salary just between the interview? No, don't do that. Unless you are confident and you feel that person has also accepted you or you feel that you are in that organization, till then, please don't inquire about these things. But of course, if the interviewer at the end asks you, do you have any queries and this has not been tackled, don't feel shy or don't stay quiet, you should ask. It has two reasons. One, Interviewer will know that you are really interested for that job. Next, if you don't ask, interviewer may also think that you are quite stupid enough that you have not asked so. So it is always advisable to ask till the end. Now, when everything is over, then don't forget to say a bye to the interviewer. But it should be a formal one. How do you say that? It is said that you should say, I think I expect a positive response from you. Or you can ask, when should I get back to you? That will always give you a signal that you are willing for the job and you are wanting to come back. So don't forget to do that. So what do you take home today? First, prepare well before the interview. Be confident during the interview. At the end of the interview also, show that confidence and have a goodwill. Leave a positive signal to the interviewer so that you have a pleasant and positive environment when you leave. Hope you like this video. 